Hey everyone, welcome back. We've got some really cool power hammer tooling to show you in this video. Thanks for being with us. All right, let's get into it. So what we're working on here is some large stainless steel post. Now this is gonna become um, a very elaborate cable railing actually. And we're forging these inch and a half square stainless steel post. And we are putting a bevel on the corners or a chamfer if you will. And the tooling is very simple. On the left, you can see those tongs, and we welded a stop onto those so that the bar can only be advanced to a certain point. Now, that's gonna allow the top of the bar to remain square and a start of the chamfer to be established on the end. And because we kept that clamped onto the die at the beginning of each of these bars, it kept everything exactly the same. And then the other part of the tooling that you can see Drew holding onto the die is what we call a stop lock. And that is about an inch and five eighths thick. And it prevents the hammer die from coming down any further and hitting too much on the material. It keeps the bevel that I'm putting on these corners exactly the same. The stop lock that we're using is actually two different sizes, one for the corners, and here you can see him lay that flat, and as I lay the square bar flat, we then hammer on that. It's only an inch and five eighths on the one dimension, an inch and a half on the other, but both of those are very important to keep from over hammering the bar or under hammering the corners. So we want these corners to be established and visible, but not over beveled. You can see a lot of communication takes place while we're forging like this. A uh, simple nod means a lot, and you're looking for all of this out of the corner of your eye as Jared's operating the hammer there and Drew's assisting him. As soon as we're done with the power hammer, we use the 200 ton press with its smiley toothy face to straighten the bar. We're able to do most of the straightening here, but not all of it. So once this is done, we'll go to the anvil to give it one last straightening just to get it perfect. I'm really proud of the work that we create and our team. Here you can see Jared, Drew, and Chase all working together to get this bar perfectly straight. Now, the straightening that they're doing is really only moving that bar about a sixteenth of an inch at a time but that's just enough to get it true and when this railing is all welded together and assembled you're going to see that now keep in mind there is more beveling that needs to happen on the end of the bar that jared's holding and we have some special tooling to keep that end all exactly the same as well what are you doing jared what are we doing? Thank you. 
Okay, the end you're looking at here is the end that we were working in the previous heat. So now we're gonna hold on that end with the tongs and Drew is going to put a tongue ring on these to put tension on the reins and just help reduce some of the fatigue. These bars are over 20 pounds each and um, just heavy enough that it kind of wears on you working them. So now you can see the second half of this tooling. It's basically a long stop that we custom made to a certain length and bolted it on the die. But he's not gonna go immediately to the end of the stop because if he starts there and then bevels it all, it'll stretch too long. So he's gonna work just shy of the stop and forge a bevel and blend it into the existing bevel on the bar. And once he's done all of that, then he'll use the stop itself as um, an exact stop for the bevel. So he's done blending and now you can see him take and put the eye of the tongs, that hole in the center, and hold that bar directly against the stop to set the end of the bevel. And this keeps everything exact and true so that when you walk down the railing, all of the bars look exactly the same. So now you've seen this simple but effective power hammer tooling that helps keep everything consistent on multiple bars and which is really important in the architectural work that we do. And sometimes when I'm editing these videos, I feel like I cut them a bit short and take out a bunch of really good forging action. So as we finish out this video, I'm just gonna let it roll and show you a bunch of great forging in the shop. We thank everyone who takes the time to watch these videos and comment and all of our subscribers. Thanks so much for engaging with us here on YouTube. We really appreciate it.